Astros here with another vlog from downtown Disney. Got really lucky today. I got here at quarter after 10. Downtown Disney opens at 10 and they were already limiting the vehicles into the parking lot. So I got lucky, snuck in as literally the last car before they closed it off for a little bit. So I was very grateful for that. And now we are over by the pin trader store. I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have any tiny kingdom pins and also see what else is new there as well. So be right back. thing about these pins is they all have moving parts so the carousel goes up and down and Dumbo also goes up and down the teacups wiggle All right, so we just left the pin trader store. They didn't have any of the Tiny Kingdom pins. However, they did have some pins from the 65th anniversary limited edition pins of the attractions. So I already was able to get my hands on a couple of those earlier at another visit. So I didn't need any of those, but I wanted to show you guys. I did some sleuthing on Instagram and found out that the Tiny Kingdom pins are actually behind the counter in World of Disney. So I'm gonna go there, get in line, see if we can get our hands on a few of those. So enjoy the walk, we'll see you in a bit. So it looks like they still have their Apple Harvest series. I was hoping it would be the Halloween series, but we'll have to see when that transfers over. I may still get some ice cream. It is a super hot day here. And not only is it hot, but it is a little humid as well. And I grew up in the Midwest, so I don't say that lightly. Thankfully, it's not as humid as it has been the past few days. Or as hot. It's been over a hundred for the past few days so I'm grateful it's cooled down a little bit but it's still pretty darn hot here <laughs> all right so I'll get my reservation and be right back all right so I got my reservation for World of Disney uh, the gentleman said it would be about an hour. That's what they're looking at right now, so that's good news. Also, he said that once you get the text, they ask you to come within two hours. So definitely, they give you a lot of time to get back, but just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Marceline. I'm gonna see if they have any Halloween-themed treats. I really would love to get my hands on some. I definitely am missing the part. So. Any little Disney magic we can get now, we're gonna take. So, hopefully the line won't be too long. Looks like they're already doing texture turns for the dress shop, so I'm assuming that Marceline's is gonna be similar and it might be a little bit of a wait. I'll get my reservation and be right back. 
All right, so we got our reservation, and it looks like it could be a two-hour wait. So Marceline's is pretty busy as well. Everything's doing those online reservations. So we'll just have to wait and see how long that's going to be. Sprinkles is finally open here. I hear they have a couple pumpkin cupcakes. All right, so I did sit down, take a break, because it is really hot out, but now we're headed over to the parks, the Esplanade, see what we can see from there in the parks. I know it's been a crazy few weeks with all of the news and trying to see if Disneyland will open or not, but currently, the outlook isn't looking too great. The guidelines that were released were saying that the county needs to be in the yellow before Disneyland can open. Though those guidelines didn't get officially released, so we're hoping that they'll reevaluate that and, you know, hopefully we'll see the parks open before the end of the year, but I'm not getting my hopes up. It's entirely possible we may not be reopening this year, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. at the moment. Let's try another angle. So here's another angle. It looks like this window may have changed. It was 2020 March possibly. This one, not so sure. I don't think that has changed. It still looks like 2020 March. But we'll just have to wait and see. And here we are at Disneyland. So close. It's so far away. They still have the sign and the rope, so you can't get that close. One day, maybe we'll be able to get back in there. You can just hope one day it's sooner rather than later. Thoughts and positive energy to all of the cast members who unfortunately lost their jobs this past week. We're really thinking of you and hopefully some new opportunities will come your way. Thank you for all of your hard work. It is greatly appreciated. Disneyland is so good because of its cast members, so we definitely wish them the best during these hard times. So it's been about an hour and a half. Finally got my text. Did stop at Starbucks, got some water and a drink. It's really hot out. Spent some time in front of Disneyland. It's just crazy to think that it's been almost seven months since it's been closed. It's truly unprecedented. And so really excited to get in, see what else is new, and see if I can get my hands on those tiny kingdom pins. Yep. Thank you. Hello. Oh, it feels so good. I know, right? Oh, the AC feels wonderful. I think this shirt is, sorry, I think this shirt is new, it's $36.99, I do really like it, but I have a ton of t-shirts, I'm really trying to focus on a few tank tops, and this is the one I'm wearing today, I'm so glad I'm wearing it, it is too hot to wear anything else, and I'm not seeing anything new. Here. Well, I looked at all three registers. Only the first register, uh, the first register when you come in has them. And unfortunately, they are out at the moment. So very disappointed by that. I was hoping to get a few. Just means I'll have to check back again later. Hopefully they'll get more soon. Now I did find something new here. 
we have the Clue Villains Mystery Game. I think I am actually grabbing this because this looks like so much fun. And here is the back. The board is really cool. And we have the Evil Queen, Dr. Facilier, Hades. And we have the Evil Queen, Dr. Facilier, Hades, Jafar, Maleficent, and Ursula. And all of these weapons. I am really excited to play this. If you want to see a video in the future of me playing through this, let me know. I'd be happy to do that if you're interested. I ended up getting the Villain's Clue from World of Disney. I'm so excited to play that game. It looks awesome. Now I got my text for Marceline, so we're going to go ahead and check out what Halloween treats we have available. So here are the Halloween treats. Looks like we have some villains themed and mini witch themed candied apples. We also have the mini witch rice crispy treat, the magic mirror rice crispy treat, and then we have candy corn and spider web sugar cookies. They're jumbo sized. And then we have also the regular cookies, treats, rice crispy treats and caramel apples. Now we also have the marshmallow sticks and churro toffee. So I did get the two Halloween themed crispy treats. I do love the theming of the caramel apples, but I wanted to enjoy my treat here. And caramel apples are a little difficult to eat when you're not at home. So, who knows? Maybe I'll get one in the future. So I came back to the shoulder plushes to find out. We have shoulder Remy's available. They are very cute. I got one for a friend who's dying to get their hands on one of these. So, just wanted to inform you of the new merchandise. I came back in with some friends to World of Disney. So wanted to share that and here's the beautiful mural that they put up I just at least had to show you guys it for Chadwick Boseman it's really unfortunate his passing it's a beautiful mural in his dedication I'm leaving downtown Disney and this line is really long on weekends I definitely recommend getting in about 10 o'clock or as close to 10 as you can to avoid the lines. All right, so I made it home and I just wanted to show you what all I got today. So let's start over here. Now, the first thing I got is the Tiny Kingdom pin banner. This is where you can put and display all of your Tiny Kingdom pins. And now since I have a few, I figured it would be nice to display these on this little banner here. So I'm hoping to find some empty space somewhere on my wall to put that. I haven't decided where it's going to hang yet, but I will post a picture on Instagram once I do hang that up. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so the next item is the Clue Villains game. I was super excited to see this. I really like this more, I think, than the Haunted Mansion Game of Life. See, it includes the Evil Queen, Maleficent, Jafar, Ursula, Dr. Facilier, and... Who that? Hades. Oh. And here's a little sneak peek of the back. It looks like the locations are the different layers of the villains. We have pieces for them as well as their weapons. So I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I may do an unboxing in a future video. Now I did stop at Marceline's and they actually did have some Halloween treats. So I wanted to show you the ones that I got. Here's the mini witch rice crispy treat. And then I'm really excited about this one. This is the mirror, the magic mirror from 
Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It is really pretty. I'll probably be eating this one first. I took a picture with it earlier and it started falling off the popsicle stick. So I'll probably, I'm gonna eat it now. Mm. I'll finish it later. <laughs> oh my gosh, the chocolate on that is really good. I highly recommend that. Now, I did go back into World of Disney I met up with some friends and they added me to their party and I'm glad they did because I got a few extra items that uh, are new. So first we have a Remy from Ratatouille shoulder, a little shoulder guy who has his little chef hat, which I'm just fluffing up a little bit. There we go. He has a little chef hat. Really cute. I have a friend who uh, said that if this released, they definitely wanted it. So Hannah, if you're watching, this little guy is for you. Now, this last one, I also did not see until the second round. It is the child mug. He's absolutely adorable. And that also says Ma the Mandalorian and the child on the back. This I picked up for a friend as well. That is all I have today. So I'm going to finish my Rice Krispie Treat, watch some spooky movies, and maybe work on some items for my Etsy shop. So thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. You have a magical day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!